I show you and then I will comment. Now look at me. Remember, insight, not the perception. So how we can promote in the, ch the distractive child space and time organization. Now, when we are here, we are moving these are two circles in this way. What we are going to ask to the dyspraxic? That is not easy, okay, this exercise. We are moving and I ask the child, while we are working on spot, to take the ball, sorry, but I haven't, haven't got a child, so try to follow me in this sense. And I ask the child to, in this way, and again, and throw the balls, and again, and again. This is the first step. Why is not easy? Because the child, he has to look when the space is changing. So we need to move and to follow the object. Now we can move. The child is walking in front of the circles, walking on spot. We are two therapies. What is happening? We move. So we move from left to right. The child is in front of us and he try with the ball to, okay, the target is the goal. Then we move up and down. Look at this. Take the ball, Julia. Take for me the ball, please. Okay. More. Yeah. Look at me. Now I have got the ball. Imagine that I'm the dyspraxic child. I'm working on spot. And so what I'm trying to do is this. Go. 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 And if you want, I clap my hand. Go. Now, more difficult because Julia is moving from left to right. So it's a walking. For me, I'm dyspraxic is not easy. Huh? I walk on spot, so I need, I have this kind of movement. I walk and catch. Go. Ah, sorry. Come on. Go. 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 Is okay? So, what is important? It's important not only when the child walking on spot, but it's important when the, there is this kind of movement in this sense. Now look at me. Mm -hmm. All of this movement, I ask the child to follow the ball when I'm walking on spot. Walk. Oh, sorry. Go, 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 go. Very good. If you look at our foot, there is a, always a motor condition. Cross. So we have the cross patterns in our legs, and I have to follow this. This is not perception only, but this is inside. I need to control my movement. I need to control my ball. My ball. I need to control the circle. I need to control what I'm moving. Now look this. I move. Julia is the therapist, the under dyslexic. Pay attention because inside is completely. Different. When you read the action to promote this, right, we need to exercise the inside. So, move this. The dyslexic, dyslexic, 
So I'm trying to do this. Go. Go. And I catch the ball. Wow. Wow. If you have a ball at home, I'm trying to do this. That is very, very interesting. Now, if she is the therapist and she moves this up and down, left and right, up and down, left and right. I have this ball. I walk on spot. Can you can you see me well? Have a try. Go. 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 Oh, difficult. Go. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so it's not easy. But you can work on this. It's a very difficult to follow this direction, but it's not enough. So it's not the perception. Perception is the different. We need to move in the space. So when you read, you need to go up, down, left, right, and to promote what is happening in our eyes. So it's not the eyes that, you, that are going to read but there is a lot of coordination in our eyes. Okay. And we move across. Cross. Yeah. Go. Go. Remember that we have always to improve this. Why? One, two. One, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, only one, 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 one. But in the Cristiani method is not enough. So we take again this ball and it's a very important to work with this, in particular when you have difficulties, okay, in um, I came for left to right. So, what I'm stop, we move this. So, we have the circle and we pass the ball. So, we move this from left to right. Go, 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 go. Again. Go, go, go. Very good. So the first step is very important to use it. Thank you, Julia. It's very important to use this. Okay. Why? Because in our treatment we have a lot of goals. So please uh, try any way to exercise to catch the ball and the tracking eyes is like this. Catch. Walk up spot. Walk up spot. Go. But uh, it's not enough. Try to move. In this case, in the Christiani method, we ask the child to use uh, what uh, the child prefers, you know, on left or right hand. So for us, it's not important, left or right. What is important is the tracking high, the scrolling from left to right and so on. Now we're going to take the step. Julia, take the step, please. Okay, we have the step. Two. Walk in a spot. If I want, I can 
what it is. Cross this toe, catch the ball. Go, 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 go. It's not important to go fast. What is important is the fluidity. Which kind of mistakes a dyspraxia can do? Very easy. So what you can observe is that there isn't a deficient in the cross system. So you need to help the child in this case. How do we help the child? Julia, please come near me. I help the child in this way. Cross. I help. Go. 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 This is the first step. You remember? I help the child to do the exercise. When there is a sort of automatization, then the child is able to do. Now we can work in front of each other. Go. 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 Are you ready? Go. 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 What do we say to the child when we are working? First of all, we smile. No? Because the child is in front of us, so we are smiling. And we say, come on, you are so good. Go, go, go. Go fast. Move your foot. Move your hands. Good job. Good job. Thank you very much. Okay, this is an example where we work with work. So, if you have a uh, look at me now. I have this uh, wall in front of me. We use a lot in our training. So you can do this, but it's not enough. Mm. This is not the perception. It's the inside. I need to calculate the distance between the ball and the ball. So I need to move in this way. And then I have the growing up process. If I want to add the verbal communication, I can say one, two, three, four, five. Or I can say, for example, the numbers or the days of the week. Sunday. Monday, go, Tuesday, and so on. The month of the year, January, February, March, April, May. But it's not enough. When there is an automatization in the child, because uh, some participants ask me when I can decide when there is uh, the automatization. Remember that uh, for us it's not important accuracy. For us it's important that the exercise is not so perfect, but there is a, a fluency. So it's also important to go from the end to the beginning. December, November, October, September. So we work in our method when you are working, when you walk on spot, and you need to follow the ball. 